Hello, and welcome to another amazing edition of Character Education. This is the place where kids come to have fun and learn about big ideas, things that grow inside you to change the world around you. Kids, yeah, but you, adults still have fun. They can have fun here, too. Uh, I mean, sure, but the kids have more fun, Corey. Oh, how do you even measure that? Easy. Just listen. Okay. Um, adults, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah. Okay, see, they responded. Yeah, see, we're, we're having fun. But listen to this, Corey. Now, just the kids. Are you having fun? Well, yeah, yeah. I guess they're definitely having more fun than us adults. Um, because they are the fun experts. And as fun experts, I think it's time to check in on the big idea we've been talking about this month. Everybody start a drum roll on your legs and let's count it down on three. Say it with me. Ready? One, two, three. Humility, Humility. is putting it's others first. It's putting others first. By giving up what you think you deserve. By giving up what you think you deserve. Um, oh, thank you. Awkward. Oh, um, Tucker, I'm really sorry about this, but it seems that someone put a... Sock. They used a sock to clean up coffee and stuffed it into the toilet, Ooh. clogging the drain, and it's overflowing. It, this is just making a mess. It's something okay. that I got to take care of. I'll be back real soon. Okay. So, uh, y- Tucker, don't do anything. Uh, you'll be fine. I'll be right back. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, okay. Shh, guys. It was actually my sock. Um, while Corey goes off to take care of the mystery sock, we'll, um, we'll stay here and explore, um, what was it again? Uh, humility. Uh, yeah, humility. Humility is putting others first (laughs) by giving up what you think you deserve. And that's good. So putting others first and giving up what you deserve. Putting others first and okay. giving up uh, what you... Uh, we're oh, ready. Okay. I'm back. I'm good. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. That was fast. Yeah. Um, it was quite a mess, but there's a lot of humble people here that jumped all in to get it cleaned up. Yeah. Um, but still, I can't figure out why someone would clean up coffee, a coffee spill with a sock. And then... <laughs> that was me! My, my sock, my mess, my spill. Yes, I did it, Corey. But I did it as an opportunity for you to show humility. You see, I put you first, Corey, by letting you go clean up my mess. Uh, Corey, I deserve to clean up the bigger mess I made, but I felt, or I let you do it. And guess what? I'm so proud of you. What? I was setting you up to show humility. By intentionally using your sock to overflow a toilet and then leaving me to clean it up? Exactly. Okay, Tucker, I think you're missing the point, but um, before we move on any further, I'm just going to practice last month's word of forgiveness. Mm, I'm going to put that into practice and just try to forget about all the damages that you caused to the bathroom. And second, um, I want to talk to you more about this whole humility thing. This is a big deal. It's something that we need to learn. It could change our lives and the lives of everyone around us. So let's just go talk. Hey guys, it's me, Sam, your humble friend. Sometimes, do you feel like you just deserve a break? Listen, I got up at the crack of dawn and helped my mom in her garden. Then I came home and cleaned my house from top to bottom. And while I was doing that, my dog got into the pantry and ate an entire box of granola bars. I mean, it it was a huge mess. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a little chilling out in me time. Oh, hold on, guys. My my phone is going. Oh, what? <sighs> guys, this is. It looks like my friend hurt her wrist, and she needs someone to take her to the doctor to get checked out. There goes my chill time. But you know what? She's my friend and she needs me. So I gotta go help her. I wanna go help her. And and, and you you know, you can do the same thing. Maybe it's listening to your sister tell a really long story without getting annoyed. 
or letting your friend choose the movie when he comes over to spend the night, even though it's your house. You know what that's called? It's called humility. Humility is setting aside the things that you think you deserve or have earned in order to put someone else first. It's not easy, but helping others instead of only thinking of yourself can actually feel really good. That's why we are taking time this month to talk about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Yep, giving up what you think you deserve. Now let's all say it together one more time because this, again, is a big one. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Now, I better go pick up my friend because she needs me. See you guys in a few weeks. Lawson, and I work so hard to bring you amazing stories that I think I deserve some updates to my contract. Lawson, you don't have a contract. But see, that's the problem. I mean, I mean, Taylor gets Ben and Jerry's in her green room. Kanye requires pistachios and hot sauce, and Will Ferrell, Will, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell gets one fake tree on wheels. Okay, why would you want a fake tree on wheels? That's not the point. Anyways, before we finalize my contract, I've got an awesome story you should hear. Let me introduce the birthday boy, Sam. This year, Mom said Sam can plan whatever he wants for his whole birthday day and invite three friends. He spent two whole months planning it out, down to the last detail. Donuts for breakfast, topped with bacon and ice cream. After that, they're gonna go play mini golf. Sumo wrestling style. While shouting, Geronimo! Then it's pizza for lunch with pepperoni so spicy, the pizza bites back. Then it'll be time for an epic battle of manhunt in the dark while Sam shouts, Freedom! Sam knows he's going to have the most amazing birthday ever. But then the day before Sam's birthday, his friend Noah sprains his ankle while doing the hamster dance and tripping over his hamster. There's no way Noah can do all the stuff Sam's planned. So Sam plans to invite this cool kid, Jin, instead. Because then Jin might invite Sam to his party. But then Sam thinks about how lonely Noah will be with his mom feeding him healthy foods and making him play math games. Ugh. Sam decides to give up his perfect day and announces, we'll take the party to Noah. And even though they can't do the cool stuff Sam planned, they still have a blast taking over the world and eating the world's best pizza. Birthday pizza! So kids, Never dance the hamster dance with your hamster. But do remember that humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. You know what? I could go for some pistachios, but I probably don't need a fake tree on wheels. Yeah, that'd be pushing it. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. What's up, everybody? My name is Keith, and I am so excited to be able to come out here and to talk with you guys about this month's big idea. For today, though, we thought it would be fun to tell a fable to help us understand the big idea. Now, a fable is just a story that illustrates a moral lesson. What's fun about today, though, is that I thought we could tell the story kind of like a comic book. <laughs> wow. Never fear. Sam is here. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Sam? Um... I heard you were going to tell a story like a comic book, so I knew you'd want me to help. Um, it's, it's a good thing I had my trusty cape with me, too. You carry that with you wherever you go? Uh, yeah, hello. You never know when you're going to have the chance to save the world or, you know, this one's a big idea. <laughs> okay, well, 
I guess you can help. You, you guess? Are you kidding me? I'd be way better than this, uh, any of these people out here. I'm so sorry. I mean, no offense, but, like, I, I, I'm a really good actor. Okay, Sam. Bless your heart. You know, Sam, it wasn't long ago that we talked about what the big idea is all about. But why don't we go over it again for good measure? Repeat this after me, guys. Humility. Humility. Putting others first. Putting others first. By giving up. By giving up. What you think you deserve. What you think you deserve. That's right. Now, Sam, I know that you had your heart set on acting, but what I really need is some help setting up each scene. So I've got this awesome binder here, and I was wondering if you think you could do this for me. Uh, okay, I guess. Like, you're saying, like, a, a more of a director role, right? Well... Here, let me just... Perfect! I'm in charge, and I need some people to help me. Why don't you guys... Why don't you guys come on out? <sighs> All right. Okay, Keith, uh, we're ready. Okay. The fable was written by Aesop, and it's going to help us understand the big idea of humility. Now, remember, a fable is a story that's meant to teach a moral lesson. A lot of times, they give us human characteristics by using animals to help with the ideas in different lights. So today, we're going to be giving some animal characteristics to our human volunteers. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a vast and dangerous jungle. <laughs> Behold, the mighty jungle animals. Okay, all right. So, one day, the mighty king of the jungle, the lion, sauntered through the trees. Ha <sighs> <sighs> ha, I am the lion. Watch me as I saunter some potatoes and chives. What? Sam, what are you doing? <laughs> He's sauntering, you know. You cook things up in a skillet with some oil and get it all nice and tasty. Sam, that's not right. No, sauntering means to walk proudly. It has nothing to do with cooking. Oh, here, hold on. Let me fix that. And uh, easy peasy, there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> all right. <sighs> Now, the lion was very proud, and everywhere he went throughout the kingdom, he made sure to let everyone know how great and powerful he really was. So much higher than everything in the jungle. One day, the lion crossed paths with a mouse. The lion caught the mouse and was prepared to eat it. You think he was, uh, in the mood for a three Mouseketeers? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. Uh. Oh, Sam. The mouse begged for his life. He said, please, oh, mighty lion, give up what you feel you deserve. Put me first and allow me to live. One day I'll repay the favor. The lion's laughter roared through the jungle. Ha! You, a mouse, repay me? The great lion? How could a lowly mouse like you ever repay me for how awesome I am? And although the lion had never really believed the lowly and humble mouse could ever help him, he, in a rare moment of almost humility, let the mouse go. The lion put the mouse first and decided to let him go. Although he didn't really believe the mouse would ever repay him. <laughs> Years passed, Sam, until one day the lion walked through the jungle, proud as always, when a hunter's trap 
suddenly sprung and the lion found himself caught in a net. The lion fought the net but quickly realized there was no escape. He panicked. And as the hunter prepared to take him away, when suddenly the mouse he saved appeared. The mouse could have laughed at the once proud lion or insulted him like the lion had done to him. But none of the other jungle animals would say that he didn't deserve it. But the mouse gave up what he deserved and he put the lion first. The mouse chewed the ropes of the net until they broke and the lion was free. Yes! Woo. The end. Oh. Okay. Good, good job, guys. Let's give everybody a round of applause for all of our volunteers. You guys did awesome. That was a fun story. Yeah, you're right. Did you learn anything? Uh, yeah, I learned that that mouse can really chew, chew through some nets. Well, you're not wrong, but that's not the only thing that I hope you learned. How about we go over that definition one more time, Sam? Say this with me, guys. Humility. Humility. Putting others first. Putting others first. By giving up what you think you deserve. By giving up what you think you deserve. You see, Sam, the truth is that our story shows us this awesome, incredible truth that we put others first. It usually works out better for us in the long run. We should treat others right because it's the right thing to do. The truth is, though, treating others right and putting others first is also making the smart decision, and it will help us maximize our potential. You know what? I guess you're right. I mean, in our story, the lion laughed at the mouse, but mm. the mouse, even though he didn't um, look the greatest or the strongest, he ended up saving the day. The humble mouse was able to rescue the proud lion. That's exactly right, Sam. The big idea of humility says it all. And so I want you guys to say it with me one more time. Humility. Humility. Putting others first. Putting others first. By giving up what you think you deserve. By giving up what you think you deserve. That is awesome. Thanks, guys. This season has gone by so fast. We didn't even think we'd be able to go to the tournament, and no one expected us to win it. But all the way, Coach reminded us that we're all in it together. And we did it together. All of us. I pitched my first no-hitter. I couldn't believe it. But it wasn't just me. Danny got that short hop in the first inning and saved me. And of course, Tank stole that home run right at the fence. It surprised me when there was a reporter that wanted to talk to me about the no-hitter. But what surprised me even more was that she was forgetting about the rest of the team. It's like I had to go over the entire game for her to show her how great our whole team was. I told her about Tank. Tank thanked me the way she does. I even told her about Danny's mom and how she always gets us water. She's part of the team too. Coach is right. Putting the team ahead of ourselves changes a lot of things. <laughs> I gotta go. Love, Seda. all about you. Oh, oh. Hey there, I'm MC Haggis, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. You know, I wonder the time I introduced myself as the world's greatest Scottish rapper because, well, I am. Right, Seamus? Right. right. But you wouldn't know it 
based on social media. I've been checking out all the sites like Facegram and Snaptude and Instagrits, and you'd think you'd see my name all over the place, right? Well, I should be what they call uh, blending. Aye. Oh, trending, trending, not, not blending. Right, thank you, Seamus. Anywho, I've been searching and searching and finding people commenting on how much they love Seamus and not one word about me. I mean, I'm the front man. I'm the poster boy for the Scottish rappers in northern Swineshire County. I should be the one going vinyl. Aye. The viral. Right, right, right. I, you see, I'm, I'm so upset, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I even forgot to tell everyone what we're learning about today. Aye. What, what, are, you, what are you telling me there? Aye. Aye. Oh, yeah, humility. Right. And that means putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Something like that. And another thing, why aren't I... Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I get it now. I, I, I just had to hear our definition of humility to r- realize something. Seamus deserves this social media phenomena that he's become. He's, he's, he's dedicated to his craft. And, uh... And a true artiste. Yes, you are. You are, sir. And here I was taking all the... Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. All right. Now, there's no need to get all mushy or or punch me. Okay. Let's let's just show off those mad beatboxing skills while we rap about humility. Kick it. We all need to truly see Life is not only about me Use the special ability Of putting others first Even when you think you deserve to be first That's humility Word (laughs) Yeah, I almost forgot What you got there? Oh, look at this Seamus is putting me first Hashtag Make MC Haggis go viral you see that, my friends? That's humility. You're such a good friend, Seamus. Hey, hey, look, look, I'm starting to spend. Aye. Oh, trend. Trend, look at that. Make him see how this go viral. Does, uh, does, what does a hashtag do? Huh? What? You know, humility isn't something we hear a lot of people talk about these days. In fact, we hear quite the opposite. You hear a lot about how people should try to get everything they can and take everything you can for yourself. But like the story we learned earlier with the mouse, when you think of others first, it can really change everything. I mean, you're right, Corey. I realize now humility isn't avoiding what I should do so that someone else can do it for me like I did with you and the coffee and the and the sock, in the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry for doing that to you, Corey. Man, I forgive you. Um, I- I'm glad you got a better understanding of what humility is. And before we go, I think we should say it one more time. Will you repeat it after me? Yeah, absolutely. Right, here we go. Humility. Humility. Is putting others first. Is putting others first. By giving up. By giving up. What you think you deserve. What you think you deserve. Thank you. I hope you have a great month and we will see you soon. change my mind I'm only thinking me, myself and I laying down my pride gonna put somebody else at number one this time don't wanna be in a world where it's all about me I'll take second to whoever is around me I'm giving up my number one position
Less of me, get more of someone else Don't wanna be 